welcome to the learner space now before teaching you how to write the codes in macro or how to write a piece of code to perform some action i would like to bring some interest in you so that you will also be eager to do some magic with your code and when you target to do some magic you will learn more and more so i would like to show how an automation is done usually automation will not be so new to the automation testers they know how automation is done using tools like qtp rational robo and many other but for people who are new to automation they don't know how it works so for them this would look like a magic before telling you how to create macro using your own codes i can tell you that there is an option there is an option under the view tab strip macros to record the macro before using this first let first let's decide on what action we may be using repetitively let's guess something like this just imagine we have numbers a few numbers between 1 and 100 say 12 45 67 80 23 46 92 so we have a few numbers here let's use conditional formatting to color few cells that have values greater than 50 we are just dividing it into two halves one is less than 50 and the other is 50 or greater than 50 now i am going to color the cells that are cells that are having a value which is greater than 50 conditional formatting would be cell rules greater than 50 here i would like to color them in green so this is how i do that manual formatting now i would like to get this recorded so that i can apply it on n number of columns before that let me undo this so that i'll be able to record it afresh so i need to go to view macros record macro so far we have not seen how to give a name to macro you can give any name that would be the name of the sub procedure by default it will be macro and consecutive numbers something like indexes but if you want you can give some specific name which will match your description you can give a name like magic so this is going to be the first magic which the non automation testers or users are going to see so let's first name it as a as magic shortcut key is nothing but in you can use any key like u or i which will help you instantly run this macro once it is recorded or coded and this needs to be stored in this particular workbook so it is this workbook you have you also have other options but this workbook workbook is the default value you can describe what you are planning to do in this macro you can just give that this is my it's my first macro so another recording session has started and any action that you do on these on the c sheets of this workbook will be recorded and the code respective code will be generated in the code window hope you have already seen how the code window will look and you know how to open it suppose there is a macro or even if you want to create a new one the previous session i have already shown that so now we can start recording the actions first we need to highlight this column then go to home conditional formatting highlight cell rules greater than 50 will be colored in green say okay so we our action is done so let's stop running the macro you can either go to view macros stop recording or you have another handy option which is here on the bar now macro recording has got stopped so let's run it and see we can run it in many ways method number 1 through the code first we need to go to the code window for it so this is the macro edit you have gone to the code window you can click on this run to run this particular sub procedure or you can create 
a shape or a button on the sheet say click here and assign it to a macro so we have magic is the name of our sub procedure we need to assign it to that and click on this so these are the several other ways how you can run a macro we have many other ways but I can show those those to you as we learn more and more on how to code and how to go to different coding windows so this will be the basic ones for you before that in order to check whether this particular macro has been run or not we first need to undo our changes uh, let's remove the conditional formatting so that we'll know how it's working now if we undo the button will get deleted we'll just manage the rules and delete this rule so now there is no conditional formatting here let's just check it out give 98 here and uh, 32 here no formatting works so it's understood that the conditional formatting rule has been removed now let's click on this button to see if the macro is running yes it has run and the conditional formatting has been applied so let's reverse the numbers and see it's 45 yes it works fine let's again remove the conditional formatting and check how it runs from the code window this particular rule needs to be deleted for it we have deleted the rules conditional formatting rules now let's move on to the code window and see how it runs run it let's run yes it works fine so now how see let's see so now let's see how this coding has been defined column C needs to be selected so that code has got recorded then greater than condition this formatting condition has been applied to that particular column to the selected column selection dot format conditions so to the selected column the those conditions have been applied then with selection dot format conditions font color tint shade the font color background color everything was changed right so all, this is the code for all that you don't have to learn anything by heart it's all generated on its own I will tell you how you can write coding on your own this is just to show you how to record macros and finally I would have selected this particular cell so even that code has got recorded here and it's my sincere advice to you that you should not try recording macros the more you try recording the less you learn how to code the more you try to code the more you learn how to apply your logic or your requirement and get your things done through your codes so I hope this session was useful to you we'll learn more in the f future sessions thanks you